Hey guys, it's me, Luis. So we have this one is a 2018 T1 Volkswagen T1, but this is what happened. Uh, the my contractor, one of my contractors, right? So they kicked me out because they thought I was charging too much money. And I understand sometimes the business is slow. It's okay, but now with this, what happened? They call another auto glass company just to keep the job because it's going to use aftermarket windshield, of course. Uh, they're going to charge less money. It's going to be more cheap. You know, it's going to be much, much better for them. Now, this is what happened. This is what you get when you go cheap. Okay, not all the time because in my case, I use sometimes the cheap glass because it's aftermarket or China's glass. And I set my windshields on the right way. No mess, no broken, no cuts. Everything has to be perfect. To me, the problem is not the glass and so. The problem is the glass, man. Now, let me show you. Look at this. You can see where they make, they mess the glue. Oh, this was very difficult to take the molding out just right here because they put glue on the on the clip. This area is clean. You see they fill them by glue all the way here. Now, you can see the glue exposed. This area has to be clean completely with no glue. Look at that. He filled the uh, the uh, the gap with the like, urethane. Is this has to be the molding but this one doesn't have molding so you have to just set the glass and that's it but probably he scratched a lot and that's why he tried to put i don't know what happened with this guy but you can see the urethane even on the top right here so i have to try to clean the mess over there um you can find glue in everywhere the bottom the cow look at this you got more glue here but the worst part on this one is from inside as you see i don't know you can see it all the glue is exposed by the pillars and by the headliner so it's really bad so to me probably uh, these kind of pillars they're plastic they don't attach the urethane very good but look at that you see that the urethane over there more urethane exposed look at the headliner over here it's very bad so i think the glass is not going to be the problem actually it's going to be it's the glass man okay so this time the company is going to be more expensive because uh let me go over there you see urethane spots over here this is not the right way look at that it's very loose um it's really bad you can see finger sprints over here so <clears throat> the headliner on the corner is damaged you can see it so this is a typical auto glass install uh just don't care the job you just come get the money and let's go so that's what i told you guys sometimes the companies want to go cheap or customers want to go cheap this is what this is what they get not all the time because some glass man like me or another you guys they can use the cheap glasses and do the in the right way nice and clean but some glass man they never learn okay guys so this is gonna start working out my problem will be probably I don't want to use any kind of wire or or line because I have to just clean this mess with the blades and I'm gonna scratch the pitch wheel very bad so what I'm doing I'm gonna use my zip knives and my gt for the bottom that's all i'm going to use uh because look at the top it's really bad so maybe i know for you guys maybe you're not going to agree with me but i have to clean that stuff and just put underneath molding there's no way i can just leave that piece or it's that way or just send it to the body shop to remove all the urethane and paint it but they're going to paint the whole roof okay so this company is going to pay more than before first they're going to pay me second one they told me they want to save the glass but i say no i'm not going to save the glass you're going to pay me for a new glass and now i have a dealer adam glass so that's the perfectly because the customer has a lot of wind noise so we want to find out if the problem is because the glass is not acoustic i'm sure it's that the problem or the bottom has losing in any spot and is making the noise okay guys so i'm going to start working with those guys right here uh it's going to be a tough because the problem is going to be the glue okay it's too much too much Ah, I hate these people, man. I don't believe why they work like this, but this is the problem. Companies sometimes they don't want to pay because they thought I was just charging too much money. <laughs> and now they're gonna charge twice or more because the glass is a factory and they're gonna pay me the labor, uh, three hours labor, and I'm not cheap. So that's, you can sure, uh, you're sure for that. So, so they're gonna do this. I'm gonna just spray a little water here, any lubricant. I always use 80% of water or more than 80% of water, 5% of alcohol and 5% of a uh, undergreased product, any kind. So nothing like soap or nothing because that was too much. It's contaminate all the area. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, I'm crossing my fingers. These people put a lot of glue, but they don't use primer. And that's the good thing because it's no primer. I'm gonna cut easy. 
no matter if they have a lot of glue okay so let's go you see they put a lot of glue but nothing between the glass and the glue so that's why it's coming easy that's why I don't be scared when I saw cars like this because I'm pretty sure the people never use the products and of course the bonding you see you see right here probably that's when the window is coming all the way to the bottom careful with this area I'm gonna make my turn higher make the turn and cut between the molding and right there no more so I'm gonna repeat the cut on this area as you see it's losing I'm gonna cut the top the sides and I'll be right back just to finish okay I'll take the call see you in a shot okay guys so I already cut that side I'm cutting this one you see it's already cut out so now I'm going in the top so it's easy because these people didn't put enough uh, uh, treatment for the glass or so like primer activator all this stuff like that so it's coming very really easy you see even with a lot of glue Alright, make your turn sharp to the glass. There you go. Okay, it still has a lot of glue. You see, too much, but I got another size of blade. So remember, so I'm using today this manual tool because I don't want to use my system because I have to clean the urethane and I'm gonna just scratch the body too much. So I don't want to do that. And the zip knife here is perfect for to do the jobs. And it's a lot of glue, so we're gonna just press the corner, make the turn, that's it. Keep going, careful with the sensor right there. There you go. Okay guys, we're back over here. So we already cut the sides, the top, the bottom with the GT. So I'm not gonna use my new system, a good system, just to mess with all this glass, as the glue is really wet. So we already put it out, it's broken. Of course it's gonna break. I'm not worried about to save the glass but now it's out my blade is completely mess with my gt so this is what i hate this kind of jobs especially this kind because those kind of glass masks i would like to find it and charge the money for my double for my uh scrubs and you can see the blade is completely messed with urethane but of course the key is clean this one now before it start you know dry but even when it's dry you can pull it up using a sanded paper or something so i'm going to clean that one later so now we're gonna pull this one, it's completely wet. Let me take the sensor. So let's see what we find. It's really bad. The problem is they didn't tell me about the top on the car. It's really bad. And, and I think it's, it's, the, it's the sole unit. And that's the worst thing because it's the sole unit. The customer is very picky. So, you see, check it out. You see the bracket? That's the problem with the aftermarket, you see that? Um, I'm not saying nothing about the aftermarket, but especially PGW, this is the problem you always find with the brackets and our Lexus and, and the Volkswagen. So that's why I don't like this brand. So this the whole bracket fell off. So I think even the customers don't have the problem with the wind noise, will be the mirror. So the glass has to be replaced anyway. So let me get this one out. You can see, check it out. Still is attached. There you go. I want to see how much glue these people use. Check it out. Why? Tell me. And you experience doing outer glass, guys. Tell me how many windshields you see with has to a uh, balls bag is need that big of glue right there. I mean, look at the corners. There's the windows. You see? That was the windows here and maybe on this part but that's the windows and that part okay that's why the customer has the windows exactly nothing touched this he put a lot of glue here but nothing there check it out do you see this that's the bridge and this happened because he used the roll when he used the roll they set the glass but you see not all the time because you can see the roll is perfectly rolled this is not a b it's a roll it's right here and you see the bridge between there so i'm not saying nothing about the the roll I saw glassman use it. To me, it's not the right way, but if you want to use it, it's your problem, not mine. But you see, I gotta clean all these. Try to clean the uh, the pillar. All these. The worst is on the top. You see all the scratches, so that's why the guy put a lot of glue and he tried to fill the itch with urethane because he tried to cover all those big scratches right there. So what I'm doing, and you can see more urethane here. 
So what I'm going to do is clean up the mess and fix the problem and see you in the next shot to set because uh, it's going to be a lot of problems. So, and this one is going to be the last install, the last set with my quick set. So I think I'm done. So I'm ready just to make that tool and ready to sell. Okay, guys. So see you in the next shot. I got another job to do an Infinity, the Q60. 2016 so we go on that one and that's it guys thank you for watching please don't do this you are a glass man and you're making this kind of job and you don't care what you're watching here just go on another channel just find i don't know those kind of crap channels over there okay guys so see you next shot this is me luis for video card today we have this one is 2016 uh x60 infinity so we're gonna be placed the windshield remember today i'm not gonna make any cut with the video because i want you guys to see the cut's gonna be in one time now remember i'm gonna show you how to attach the new improves for this guy okay so first <clears throat> we're gonna attach on the driver's side okay remember this section cap is more concave or more deep so you have to first the problem with the red line you have to set the tool like this and just pushing the air out after that no problem if you start pumping with this suction cap as soon as you push in it's going to show you the red lines you have to just work in that way okay okay so we're going to start making the cut on one time so i'm not going to make any stuff today okay Remember, you're going to start slow with torque. After that, you can go fast. See that? So feel on your finger when you're making the cut. Reducing, feeling. Put the corner now. Reducing. Pushing, reducing. You can go faster, remember. You can feel on your finger the tension on the cord. Gravity stop, remember. Careful with us. Stop right there. Okay, guys, now the next cut. <coughs> Today I'm gonna use the Pro Set because this is the B ones. <coughs> And we just make a little turns. All right. And now we're going to pass to the corner. Now remember, just push the air out. There you go. And pump. There you go. Remember, you're going to move your suction cup, your anchor. Uh, sorry but this is new so after a couple of times it's going to be loose a little bit more all right remember careful would you grab it to stop some of it Tension. My cup, remember? I forget that one again, so we're gonna go this way. Slowly, when you feel that, you gotta slowly look at the cap. And there you go. Okay, guys, so. The gravity stuff is inside.
<laughs> with this little block. So remember, we could them fall a speed. There you go. So nothing there. Remember, just careful with your uh, hooks on the bottom. They can go inside. Okay guys, as you see, full cut, full speed, no damage, so it's good. So you see, all the interior is no damage, the dashboard, the headliner, and all is in good condition. Okay guys, so see you next shot to set, and we finish. See you next. Okay guys, so we everything is ready. I just activate my glass, the primer, so we set the, um, <clears throat> the pro set. So we're going to set the glass with the glue, and we're done. I like this one because it has the dots so they show you where the glue goes so I was going to start working on this point Case. Okay guys, so let's ready to set. Make sure all the pumps are inside. This is the heavy one. Okay, and now we set right there. Then I was pushing down a little bit. There you go. Just put it in place. Okay. There you go. Perfect set. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to put all parts together and we finish. See you tomorrow.